Just 60 miles north of New York City, in the southern Harlem Valley, a little off the beaten path, running along the railroad bed, sliding under bridges, easing through town, and spreading out in a network of fens, rivers, and marshes, you'll find one of New York State's largest freshwater wetlands, the Great Swamp. The Great Swamp wetland system was created 25,000 years ago when the last glacial ice sheet scoured the Harlem Valley down to calcareous bedrock. The Great Swamp wetland lies in a 62,000 acre watershed and runs for nearly 20 miles through four towns. The North Flow follows the Swamp River through Pauling and Dover in Dutchess County where it joins the Ten Mile River. The South Flow begins in the village of Pauling and follows the East Branch Croton River through Patterson and Southeast in Putnam County where it empties into the East Branch Reservoir. Water-soluble marble bedrock underlies this massive wetland. The Great Swamp is a water-carved basin scooped out between the east and west ridges of the ancient Hudson Highlands. A reservoir, a great sponge, ebbing and flowing through drought and deluge timelessly interacting with the floodplain that surrounds it. In the watershed, rain and snow fall on the forested uplands and run down to the wetland through tributaries, streams and groundwater. When the runoff reaches the great swamp, it spreads out, settles and slows. Sediments fall to the bottom, and wetland plants absorb pollutants. And still the water moves downward, filtered and purified as it flows through thick glacial deposits, seeking the marble bedrock, recharging the aquifer, and sending clean water into the Croton Reservoir system and to the millions of families who drink from it. Wetlands are among the most biologically productive ecosystems on Earth. Life is everywhere. 31 natural communities are found in the Great Swamp watershed. Forested uplands, emergent marsh, floodplain forest, wet meadows, and calcium-rich fens are just a few. The Great Swamp Watershed is home to 160 species of birds, 36 species of reptiles and amphibians, 64 species of butterflies and moths, 37 species of fish, 58 species of dragonflies and damselflies, and 34 species of bees and wasps. Otter, beaver, mink, coyote, bobcat, and bear are among the many mammals found in the Great Swamp Watershed. Wood ducks, black ducks, and mallards are just a few of the nearly 200 species of birds that use the wetland as a migratory flyway. All in all, the Great Swamp Wetland System supports an astounding number of animals, plants, and natural communities. A significant number of them ranked as rare, threatened, or endangered in New York State.
The Great Swamp Wetlands System, like any ecosystem, can be harmed by introduced environmental changes to which it cannot adapt. Many plants and animals in the Great Swamp are susceptible to small changes in water quantity, quality, and chemistry. Overloads of chemicals from human development, chlorides, phosphates, and nitrogen compounds, among others, can drain into the wetland from salted roads, septic fields, parking lots, golf courses, and wastewater systems. If the fragile ecosystem of the Great Swamp is thrown out of balance, habitats can be lost. Non-native species can invade. This, in turn, may degrade the Great Swamp's value as a clean water supply, fish and wildlife habitat, and recreational area. It seems not all municipalities and businesses and property owners are aware of how a healthy wetland ecosystem protects our water supply. Fortunately, there are a number of organizations, among them the Friends of the Great Swamp, or FROGS, working toward the conservation of natural resources throughout the Great Swamp watershed. A key community coalition, FROGS links many individuals and groups through information sharing and coordination, education and outreach, research and monitoring, and watershed protection planning. What can you do to help protect the Great Swamp? First, get to know the wetland and the watershed. Join Friends of the Great Swamp. Explore with us on hikes and paddles. Learn with us through studies and surveys. Advocate for the Great Swamp. Make sure your elected officials are aware of potential dangers to the Great Swamp such as oversalting the roads, developing impermeable surfaces near the wetland, poor enforcement of protective ordinances, and malfunctioning sewage, wastewater, and stormwater systems. Educate people about the Great Swamp. Help us work to improve conservation, preservation, and educational and recreational access so more people can experience this remarkable wetland. And please, continue to spread the word about this essential natural resource in our own backyard, the Great Swamp.